Hey there, it's Dr. Covington. I am recording a brief video for my patients um, on how to administer your compounded semaglutide. You're going to see a lot of things on YouTube and there's tons of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way that I think is easiest, but if you are a nurse or you have done injections before and you have your own system, then that's fine. This is also um, for patients who have never done self-injection so that you have an idea of what it looks like. Um, I cannot record my tabletop, so I am going to pull things up so that you can see it in the camera view. Um, in your packet, and this may look different over time, but at least for right now, what you're going to have is, of course, the vial or the medication. You're going to have um, alcohol wipes and also the syringes um, and a set of instructions to walk you through the process as well. So... If we're starting with this injection, for this particular um, vial, it can be done at room temperature and kept at room temperature. For different compounding pharmacies, that may vary, but that is included on our instructions. First step is that I am taking the alcohol wipe. I am uh, wiping the top of the vial. Um, this vial has a rubber stopper. We want to keep the edges on because that's what stabilizes the stopper for this particular vial. I want to take my syringe. Our syringe units are in um, go up to 100. This is your typical you know, insulin syringe basically. And it goes all the way up to 100 because the units are gonna change at different doses. Um, and it starts, the first thing that's marked is 10. I don't know how well you can see that. There's also a pictograph of the um, syringe on the instructions as well. So when I'm doing this type of injection, um, what I do first is take off the um, back from the, the plunger. And then the last step that I do is actually to um, expose the needle because I want to do that step last so that you don't accidentally stick yourself. So now we've got a live needle that is unsheathed. The easiest way that I believe to do this, and this would be on a solid, you know, immobile surface. So don't raise it in air if you don't need to. I'm just doing this so that you can see. Easiest way I think to do um, this type of injection is actually to put the needle in with this um, stable and go, you know, all the way in. Um, and then to drop it upside down. Now, of course, you guys can see that I don't know how well you can see, but I'll just explain it. The tip of my needle is is in liquid. It's not in air. Now, the reason I like doing it this way is because my needle is in a safe space. And from here, I can just draw back 10 units. Now, of course, one thing that you will see very is some people like to draw up air and then blow it out and do all of that. Um, I kind of keep it simple and just draw it out. I don't necessarily think that's wrong, but... Um, looking at my um, my fluid, I don't have any air bubbles. To do that. If you do see air bubbles, you can just tap it, and that can help get them out. Or another way to get out air bubbles is to reintroduce your um, needle and push the air bubble out, and then draw up the um, fluid again. So I'll just show you what that would look like pushing the air bubble out if you had one and then draw it back out, okay? So, and then so that I don't squirt it everywhere, you can also do it this way and then just pull it straight out. Okay, so now I've got 10 units. Um, the units are gonna change based on what your dosing is. Follow the chart, it's listed there for you. Now, I'm not going to do an actual injection, but I am gonna walk you through the process. Let me put this in a stable, secure position. And I'm actually going to put that there. Now, I was always taught that you never um, recap the needle, which I still agree with. I don't think you should if you don't need to. But what this does allow is a hands, you know, limited hands way 
if this were sitting on a table to be able to scoop this and cap it. So I think that that's appropriate, um, especially if you need to clean the place for your injection. You can't do both at the same time. Or if you've got a surface that's clean, putting this on a chuck or putting this on something sterile um, in a you know, a horizontal position, but realistically for a lot of patients, they're not going to have those types of tools that we have in the medical field. So um, if you can see, I did one hand put this back in to a secure position. Now with your actual injection, so that's part one, with your actual injection, now we're cleaning the area that we are going to do the injection. If you've used the auto injector from the brand medicine, you haven't had to do this step. Um, and that's because it's not a needle that's going into a vial and all of that. It's a needle that's secure in an auto injector. So this step is not always necessary, but we're doing an alcohol swab. We'll pretend like this is my belly. You would clean the area that you're going to do the injection on. Um, you can let that dry. And then you would for the actual injection. Now, this would be subcutaneous fat, so I'd be able to pinch it. Or if you're looking at your belly and you see, um, you know, that there's enough subcutaneous tissue to go straight through, then you would put the injection into the skin, into the fatty tissue, and then push this plunger in and then administer the injection. Of course, this would not be on the needle. The only reason why I'm putting that there is so that I don't accidentally stick myself. Now, needles are scary, right? They're sharp. We think about injections with vaccines and, you know, um, we think about IM injections. What I can tell you, honestly, is that these needles, people hardly even fill them. Um, they're very sharp, which is a good sign. Sharper the needle, less likely you are to fill it, less likely it is to hurt, and they're very thin. So if you're someone who's freaked out by needles, which I understand, try it. Um, take your time and go slow. I have seen people go fast. You know, do what's comfortable for you. You don't have to go fast and use a lot of force. You can also slowly, gently put it in and then push um, the injection. So I wanted to record this just so that you have a visual um, and have an idea of the steps. Good luck. See you next time.